Hello everyone, this is James, the Funeral Director, and I wanted to make a quick video talking about the trocar. I'm inside our embalming room where we use our trocar, and I wanted to uh, explain what it is and how we use it. The trocar, it's a very simple design. It's a long, narrow tube, hollow, with an interchangeable razor point at the end. We use the trocar for the aspiration process. What's the aspiration process? Well, after the embalming, which I can't get into detail here because I don't have enough time in this video, in its simple form, it's basically extracting the blood from the circulatory system. It's the process where we inject uh, embalming fluid into the arteries and drain the blood from the vein. Afterwards, we have to go back into this torso area and collect the blood that's just been sitting there in the organs or in the cavities of the visceral organs, the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, etc. And we do this, you guessed it, with the trocar. The way we do it is we have to enter the torso area. We do this with force, basically. There's been a lot of technical advances in the funeral industry, but the one thing that remains constant is the uh, trocar. It still stands the test of time as being one of those devices that even though maybe the uh, simple few designs have come into play within the last couple of years, um, its one main purpose is to make a puncture wound. That's why we have this interchangeable uh, razor point. The rule of thumb is two inches above the belly button, two inches to the right of the belly button. And that's where we we'll make our puncture wound. And once we make the puncture wound, we're inside the torso area, inside the visceral cavity, all of this area here. And we're going inside and injecting the trocar into the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, trying to collect the blood from those cavities. And at the same time, the trocar is connected to a tube, and that tube is connected to a suction device. So it's sucking, draining the blood up through the hollow trocar into our suction device. And afterwards, we're going to go back into the uh, torso area and we're going to inject into those cavities to which we just uh, extracted the blood from and put cavity fluid inside those cavities. And what cavity fluid is, is basically a, a fluid that dries it out, uh, helps with the smell, and there's a lot of other things it does, but I'm just trying to make a quick video here. <laughs> so. The way we do that is we connect the tube to a bottle, we hold the bottle up in the air. Yeah, there is no uh, machine for this, we all just rely on gravity. We hold the cavity fluid up in the air, the cavity fluid is draining the fluid into the tube, into the trocar, and we're going back into the same areas that we just did when we were extracting the blood, and at this time, instead of extracting, we're injecting uh, the cavity fluid into all the organs. And that's basically it. Uh, this is a simple video defining what the trocar is and its purpose in the embalming room. So now you know. This is James, the funeral director. Thanks for watching.